when we have this Buddha image on our altar, this represents the Buddha's holy body. And then we should also have a stupa in any shape, Hinayana shape, Mahayana shape, Vajrayana shape. You have a stupa filled with relics if possible, or mani pills, mantras, or anything holy inside. It can be even the hair of your guru. And when you have this in your stupa and you have that on an altar, the stupa represents the Buddha's mind. And then it would be very good to have a Dharma text on one side of your altar. So you have a Buddha body, a Buddha stupa, and you have a text. It could be in any language. It could be in any form. It could be in any shape. It can be in English, it can be in Thai, it can be in Tibetan, it can be in Chinese. But the text represents all of Lord Buddha's teachings. It represents everything that Buddha has taught, the 84,000 teachings that Buddha has taught. So what happens is on your altar you have a Buddha, you have a stupa, and you have a Dharma text. And that's your basic fundamental altar. If you want to have more Buddha statues, up to you. If you want to have more stupas, more texts, up to you. If you want to have more sizes, up to you. How you put it is up to you. And if you like, also, in the Tibetan tradition, we have an image, picture, or representation of our root teacher. So our root teacher can be directly in front of the Buddha, or it can be hanging behind. It is up to you. And that is to remember where you have received the Dharma from.